I, I want to share how I found out about, about the new wave is. I was in Ekin car for 40 years, since 1977 to 2017. And uh, I noticed that I was getting very stressful, but I didn't know why. It felt like three kind of stresses were really, and no matter what I did in relation to Ekin car, like singing the hue or singing a secret word or something, and nothing was working. And then I, I accidentally went on on YouTube because I was a little bored or something, and I saw these videos about Dwayne and the new wave is and uh, uh, singing the new new, and I said, "What's that?" <laughs> but they were talking about how their that Ekin Car was not Ekin Car anymore, and I was like, "What? <laughs> Ekin Car is not Ekin." What? I, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I was like shocked. I almost even became sort of like traumatized because he said that uh, it's been taken over by a reptilian witch and uh, it's been uh, taken over by uh, uh, corruption of in, the, in, a, in, an, in the real side, not in the physical. It looks everything looks nice and happy and everything. So, but I have to admit that I would, I was always getting hints that there was something wrong, but I thought it was some kind of test. So after seeing these little 20 minute videos, uh, a couple of days later, I had a, not a dream. I actually woke up because I felt something was in the room. I sat up and I looked in front of me and there was this, uh, like an office built uh, office room with uh, with uh, what do you call that? Um, file cabinets, a desk, a computer, other things on the wall, like pictures on the wall. And one of the walls was missing, and that was leading into my room, the bedroom. <laughs> I go, what is that? And 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 then all of a sudden, I popped out of that body. Uh, that was in the bed. I was sitting up looking at this room and I popped out of that body. And then because there was sort of shadow in dark, I didn't realize that there was a person walking towards me. Now, this person looked like the the, the official photographer for Ekenkar. Uh, his name is Peter Skelty or something like that. And he was moving and I didn't realize what body this was that I was in. I, I'm guessing it was my real self, I don't know. Anyways, I was right in the middle between where I'm sitting in the bed and I'm seeing the, the room and this this man is approaching me that looked, that's from Ekenkar and, I, and he's walking so slow that he's walking like the minute hand moves. So that you can't see that he's walking slowly, but he, that's how slow he was walking, like the minute hand. And you cannot see the minute hand move normally, but that's how he was doing it. So I didn't really notice that he was moving. It's only like if I look back again, then I noticed that, hey, he already moved a little closer. <laughs> but he was, I don't know how he was doing that. But anyways, uh, all of a sudden, this golden guy came to my, where I'm sitting in the bed. And uh, I didn't know it was a golden guide at the time. I said, who's that? And he was really tall and he was wearing a robe, but he was crystal clear. You could, I could see through him, but I could see the, the outline that that was a golden guide. And he was really tall. Anyways, he leaned over to myself that was in the bed and he said, you need to say this word. And I said, okay. I heard myself say okay to the golden guide. And then... So he said the word to me, being in the bed, and I did not hear what he said. I go, oh my goodness. Well, so this other, my other self that was right in the middle of both these things said, well, when I, when I say the word, I'll hear what he told me. So I, so, I, so I see that I'm taking a deep breath and I say the word and I, and I couldn't hear what he said. <laughs> what I said. I go, oh my goodness, what was the word? I don't know what he said. Well, why, why can't I hear it? Well, when that happened, 
when I said the word, all of a sudden this like cosmic cr curtain lifted up. And then when it lifted up, I saw that the man walking really slowly was some kind of a guard, uh, some kind of creature that looked like a. I couldn't really tell how he looked. He looked like a very old, like creature, but I, he was like gray and green, and and because he was in the shadows, I really couldn't see how he looked. But I could see that it was some kind of creature, and not a man. Well, when that happened, he could see me. Not he could see that I was looking at him, this other body, this other self, and he turned around really slowly to walk back to the to the office room that was there. And later on, I realized that he had made some kind of portal to come into my room, and that's why there was a wall missing in the office. Well, he as soon as he walk this time he walked like a normal but it's still slowly but i could see him walking and then he uh the then the the whole building disappeared everything was back to normal and then i went back to my body on the bed and i was perspiring i was like sweating because i i didn't realize the danger that i was in right there but that's finally what woke me up to, to say that hey this new wave is duane is telling the truth I couldn't, I was like so traumatized and shocked that uh, this happened to Ekankar. And so that's how I came into uh, believing and realizing that, yes, uh, the new wave is and the golden guides are with Duane. And, and I have to admit that after 40 years of thinking spiritual and <laughs> these other ideas, that it's like a, like a train that's going at high speed and now I have to turn it. <laughs> I changed direction, so I'm like going through all this process of rethinking my whole mind, my whole, uh, you know, way of thinking, the way I'm perceiving, my whole awareness, everything. I have to, I have to get rid of all this Ekankar stuff, all these books, because I, I feel like they're tap lined. All these pictures, portraits of the, of the, of the way the masters or now the golden guides, but because they could make double ganger like entities to appear like they're the guides so i had to get rid of all of that <laughs> so it's been a oh, it's been like a really traumatic and i have to admit that sometimes i i have to catch myself not to think that way after 40 years you know so i'm just learning to reawaken re, like reawakening up and being on, and I'm just, I have to admit that I'm really grateful. I, I had so many experiences after that. So many, I, I had more experiences in like a couple of months than I had in the 40 years <laughs> that, I, that I was in Ekinkar. So I just want to share that. Thank you. Thanks, Ramon. Great testimonial. And now you know the word that he gave you, knew you. Yes. <laughs> it showed up. I was in 40 years, too. Oh. Yeah, about 40 years. In the 70s, I came in. And uh, it's, to me, the transition was not not that uh, hard, you could say. or It was more effortless. It just made so much more sense, what Dwayne was talking about, that it was that I just uh, let go of the even the 40 years, all the things that I had experience there was just let him go and moved on it's okay